Hello my friends, I am Sarah. Welcome to Grace in My Space. Today we are going to make over a small front porch for fall. Let's start with a quick tour of my home decorated for fall over the last four years. This year I'm trying to go very minimalistic, trying to use as much free decor as possible, but I've got to say, it was a bumpy ride. So I have been scouring the stores for something new and different, and I just haven't found it this year. Yes, there are some cute things that I like to incorporate, and I will share those with you, but for the outdoors, I just wasn't finding anything that I really was super invested in. And so, God gave me this tree, it fell, and all the leaves dried beautifully. I love the color of them, I love that they're dried up, and so I'm actually going to use this, and hopefully we're going to make something out of this free decor and this dried as well which i have shown you in the house but these were extra big branches that did not fit inside and so i think i'm going to try and use those too now every year i put two wreaths on these doors and every year it looks like owl eyes to me because one time somebody said to me it looks like there's owl eyes on your door and now it has never been able to be unseen so instead i'm going to use these on my planters now I get to decide if that looks stupid or not. <laughs> I'm like I think I like the colors in the wreaths. For about 10 years, we've had this in storage. And every year, Aaron says, I'm gonna get rid of that rocker. And every year I say, no, I'm gonna use it. Well, I'm gonna try to use it. This is clearly the problem of a small front porch. You wanna add things that are cute, but you have to actually be able to access your home. And so what I like and try to do is kind of consolidate and make a bit of a focal point on one side so that it can be a little bit heavy on one side versus the other. And that just gives space for this to be an actual throwaway and hopefully it just doesn't look super lopsided. We're gonna try something else. Okay. <sighs> I'm feeling a little stuck, it's gonna be okay. So when I start to feel stuck, I clean things because my brain needs a break and it really does no good to try and decorate when you're not inspired. So I'm spraying my real pumpkins with Thieves Cleaner because it will help disinfect and just prevent them from rotting as quickly as uh, they could otherwise. And it will get some of the bugs to stay away from them too. I thought this area could use some color. So Annabelle hydrangeas dry beautifully once they've gotten to this green papery time of year. If they're white, then they will not dry. They'll just shrivel. But at this time of year, these should dry just popped in here without any water. Now, I moved that other piece away from here because it was blocking the entrance. So I'm gonna use the pumpkins in its place. I've got a bunch of scraps of flooring from when we installed our new floor that I'm gonna to use to prop up this big one because I wanna give it a little bit of height, but it'll be hidden. So it won't really matter what I've got back here. I'm gonna, I need more than that. Please don't break, okay. Okay, 
I've never been a minimalist and every time I thought I should probably stop I just kept adding and I think that's just okay it's okay if I like to add layers and it does make it feel more cozy so we added a pillow and blanket which is not practical to leave outside but you can use them bring them back inside when you're done and then I've definitely upped the game on the arrangement and added some hydrangeas on the pumpkins as well I love adding really personal touches to things that have a little bit of a story behind them. So my son foraged the stick from our woods a couple of years ago. He stripped the bark, he sanded it down, he stained it, he polyed it, and he made it into a walking stick. And so I think that that's a really cute little touch just to put on the front porch as decor. And now I have one final touch. Okay, the final thing arrived that I've been waiting for. I'm going to open it up. but. I wanted to know that these didn't dry the way that they always do, and I think it's because I didn't bring them inside to dry. If you want your Annabelle hydrangeas to dry with the green still showing, hey buddy, then bring them inside to dry them, and then um, they will stay green. I think I had too much heat on mine, but I'm actually I'm kind of liking the way that they look, so I don't mind too much. But let's get that final thing out, y'all. So I needed a new rug, so I got this long one. It's supposed to be 60 inches long. What in the? What in the? Oh my gosh! It's cut in half. It's been cut in half. This is the most bizarre thing I've ever had happen. Can you see that? See how, see how jagged it is? It literally has been cut in half and they delivered it like this. someday. But won't it look cute when it does? So I have this special skill. It's the skill of admitting defeat. Defeat. Oh, hey kitty. Anytime there is the smallest wind, these guys fall over. They're just too top heavy. It's not working. It's irritating me now instead of being something that I enjoy seeing. And so, you know, look, the cats, they're loving it, but I'm on to plan F for this porch. F for failure. No, just kidding. I ended up completely scrapping just about everything. Starting from scratch, I kept the pumpkins, I kept the chair, I brought back out my faux topiaries because I just wanted some color. All the brown was just making it feel too dead, too blah. And so I chopped up those branches and I created little swags out of them. Is it my favorite? I'm not really sure yet. It kind of feels like eyelashes now. It's kind of hard to unsee, but you know what? Here we are and I'm done. And I'm kind of done just trying for this year and it is what it is and that's okay.
Thanks so much for watching today. I hope you enjoyed just kind of seeing a little bit of decorating reality because Bullseye, what are you doing in my tree? I know you guys like the cats. He'll be in the background, either ignore me or ignore him. But there was a bit of reality in this video because I struggled this year. And I think that that's actually something that is valuable to share. There was a point where I was like, ugh, I guess I'm just not gonna have a fall porch video this year because nothing seemed to be working. But I think that that is hopefully relatable and that you guys enjoy just watching the process, watching some failure. But I think I overcame in the end. So you tell me, can you relate to this year's fall decorating journey? Is that something that you've experienced? Let's chat in the comments. Make sure to hit that subscribe button, ring the bell for notifications, and upcoming I have some really fun makeovers.